Alright guys, so it is 7.50 right now and I'm back in the gym. You've seen I had a bit of breakfast, I was in the bus getting here in the morning and I had the idea of filming a video for you guys talking about local versus online marketing as a personal trainer or fitness professional because everyone is moving towards online personal training and that's great. But what are you gonna do about all these people who actually wanna see you one-to-one? -one? So I think there's a big misconception in a lot of personal trainers thinking they need to become online trainers now. It's not and or, it is a substitute to your business. That's how I see it. Well, there are two sides to it. So first of all, you have to look at the area where you're in. So determine the geographical area as a personal trainer and then use online marketing to draw leads out of that area to your business. So you've got a steady brick and mortar business, that's what you normally say, so a business where you see people face to face actually working with people. And then you look at the online side of things and this could be online coaching either for those people you have seen one to one or if you say I want to step further and my reach is further than just the ones I'm servicing one to one, maybe it's UK even, you know, like it's it's the wider range or it's even worldwide because you're such known on YouTube or Twitter or Instagram or whatever social uh, channel you're using and then it makes sense to create an uh, online personal training presence and say I sell online coaching programs, I sell online training programs, all this stuff. But here's the twist and here's the gist of things. For most personal trainers it's not gonna happen that we all, the whole fitness industry, is gonna move online. That's just not gonna happen because there will always be people who want the physical contact, who need someone there standing with them in the morning and saying, let's do it. I had a client in Dubai and when I came back, it was this idea of, oh, let's do coaching online and stuff. The thing is, it wasn't the same for him. So he said, well, I can't do this, Mark, and I'm really sorry. And I totally understand that because me being in person and we even tried Skype, right? This whole thing of I put Skype on and then I talk him through things and I could actually observe him and he would always, that works for some people. I've done it with other people, but with that particular client, I totally get his point. He said, well, Mark, that doesn't work for me. And I honestly, even though we're moving towards, and I always talk about, you know, it's important that we have this mobile first marketing strategy and all that stuff, that's all great. But what I would say, use it as a substitute. So if you ask me, out of the perspective of making five figures a month as a personal trainer, then substitute your local business with your online marketing strategies to get more local people and then at the end you know you open up your online coaching to those people that's where I would start at and then let's say you skyrocket as a personal trainer online because your advice is so much better than everyone else's then you might be able to drop off that side of things and you just focus on online but here's the thing and this is something Grant Cardone you know I don't know if you guys follow that guy is one of the biggest salespeople around uh, Tony Robbins you know there's so many people who always say that it's important that you don't kill an income stream. So if you have set up, if you've worked, like for me, for example, it took me five years to build up where I am right now in the UK. And before that, it took me seven years to build my business in Germany. And it's this thing, right? Why would you kill that kind of income stream? It's like never change a running system. Once you've set it up and it's running by itself, why would you say, no, I don't want it. If people come to you, pay you money and say, can you train me? If you are able to make that time work, let's say in a sense of if you all of a sudden earn online line a thousand pound or two thousand ten thousand pound an hour let's say for whatever reason and you get paid a hundred as a personal trainer I would say well obviously you're gonna go there you're gonna go where you earn more money but if you're able to do both simultaneously you will be able to even create more income this is the thing just because you switch to a certain business or make more money on one side and kill off the other you never know when this is gonna go down so that's why you want to have multiple income streams coming into your business or you know maybe you have more businesses than one to sustain a proper living and that's really really important so this is the thing so that's why a lot of people who get wealthy they all of a sudden in invest in real estate or they build a business and then they hire a director and then they move on build another business hire a director so they get paid through every venture they have accomplished and that's how how you do it and how you roll it so that's my advice I hope this helped you a little bit out let me know what you think do you think it's local do you think it's online do you think it's a combination a merge of both what do you think you should be doing let me know in the comments below I'll be really interested in your opinion again this is just my opinion it's me trying to help you give you some value out of the perspective of my business how I run my business and how I've got leads and so on and so forth so yeah that's it I'll see you guys tomorrow